know what? I remembered from the Motorhead tour back in 1983. When we played this city, you blew the shit out of us, man. We could not fucking believe it. Here I am, like a fucking 39 years later, and it's still fucking rocking. Yeah, man. Hi right. hey, people of the VC, as you can tell, uh, Anvil just came to town. I thought I'd do a quick video, uh, tell you what I thought about their uh, recent gig at La Belle Angel in um, in Edinburgh on the 22nd of uh, October. Um, there was two support bands on. Um, I didn't know who they were before I went. Um, the first band came on, I think they were called uh, Midnight Blue. I didn't... Um, I didn't take any footage of them. Uh, they were okay. They were a good, uh, good warm-up act. They were from uh, a female-fronted metal band from uh, France, um, I believe. Um, uh, so they were okay. Um, next up was a, um, a kind of um, traditional um, thrash metal band. You have traditional thrash metal, I guess you call them, called uh, Reset, um, out of Germany, and. Um, they were really, really good. Um, I'll put a bit of a, a clip in uh, here. Okay, so that was um, a reset. Um, they were so they were they were, they were really good. I was really really surprised. Um, they had a bit of a, a merch uh, store going on, and they were they were selling off some of their um, records and CDs. So I um, met the band in between uh, their set and Anvil, and got them to uh, sign a couple of copies of their uh, first two albums. This is Have Gun Will Travel, and. Uh, Civic Nightmares. Uh, not had a chance to give these a proper listen to yet. But looking forward to that. I realised after I got them to, I bought these and got them to decide that uh, there's only two original members of the band still with them. So I've got a couple of signatures on here of people who didn't actually play on them. So um, I don't know if that does anything to the value. Not that I'm looking at probably selling them on anyway. Um, but these are both 2016 recent uh, vinyl releases. First time on vinyl for their albums and um, yeah as I say really really good um, old school uh, thrash metal they even kind of uh, look the part as well um, yeah very very good stuff um, and part of me actually thought after I heard them uh, I was so you know, blown away by them that um, I wondered how Anvil were gonna follow that but um, surprisingly enough I wasn't I wasn't disappointed um, as soon as the, the lights went down for Anvil and uh, the guys came on stage, um, even before a note was played, Lips jumped straight into the audience right in front of me and started to do this. And so I knew straight away that they were going to be um, absolutely uh, superb. Um, again, like I mentioned, this is the same venue that I saw Diamond Head in a week or so before. Uh, again, it wasn't anywhere near sold out. There's plenty of uh, room. It wasn't squashed at all. It's such a shame to see these these great sort of icons of, of metal playing uh, to such small crowds. Um, but they, they put on a, a great show. Um, Lips was um, from start to finish, full of energy, um, smiling away. Um, 
uh, their bass player as well, whose name I've, I've forgotten, unfortunately. Um, he was he was full of beans as well. It was a bit, uh, and between him and Lips as well, they just uh, they had some great chemistry on stage. And uh, Rob Rhino on drums as well was uh, was to be in in top form. Um, it was a bit. So they were promoting their their latest al al album, Anvil is Anvil. Uh, I don't have that one um, myself, but they also played a lot of the classics that you'd expect, sort of Metal on Metal, Six Six Six, School Love. Uh, Juggernaut of Justice. So it was just a really great uh, rock metal um, show, and um, I'll put some clips in um, at the uh, after this. I think I've got um, some of uh, uh, Lips just his, his banter uh, with the uh, the crowd, and there's uh, a guitar solo with a very very interesting um, plectrum, shall we call it? Uh, so you can guess what it is. Uh, a bit of uh, Rob Reiner's uh, drum solo, uh, just to give him equal press to, to lips as well. And finally, I think I've got some footage of uh, Metal on Metal, and uh, end up with some um, uh, pictures I took with, uh, uh, they came out and signed autographs and things uh, after. Um, I picked up a tour shirt, and I... Uh, wasn't the best uh, place to get them to sign, I guess, but uh, we've got uh, Lips, uh, Chris, the bass player, and Rob Reiner there as well. And uh, I'll only ever really buy t shirts if they've got the, uh, the tour dates on the back. You can see the, uh, the European leg of the Anvil is Anvil tour. And we have 22nd of uh, October, Edinburgh, in the uh, top left of the, uh, the picture. Um, I kind of realised afterwards that having got them to sign it, I'll probably not wear this t-shirt now. So it's a uh, it's a uh, a nice thing to have, but um, I I can I can wash it <laughs> wash it and uh, lose the signatures now. So uh, that will probably go in a couple of other tour shirts that I've got from the uh, the years and. Uh, Nice bit of memorabilia. Um, I did think about getting the, probably would be better if I bought the CD and got it signed, but um, the merchandise was, was pretty pricey and uh, I didn't want to spend that much on a CD, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, check out the, the footage that's uh, going to come out. It's only about uh, two or three minutes long. And um, yeah, I also went to see uh, Saxon Girl School and Fastway at the end of uh, at, at the last weekend that's just gone. Uh, to get a little bit of footage of that as well, um, so I'll probably when I get around to doing some editing, I'll, I'll, I'll put a quick video for that as well because that was also superb. Uh, apologies for the sound quality on some of these clips. I'll just um, do it on my phone, so just try and get uh, an idea of the atmosphere. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you again in a collection update video very soon. Cheers. All right, here's a song. Uh, that we recorded here in the UK. Hey! Uh, how many people here have seen the Anvil movie? No! So you know where I'm going with this. Uh, no fucking place at the fucking, you know, Dover. Yeah. Man. The good old White Cliffs of Dover. Hey, my wife came to visit me while I was in recording that album, you know. We went down to the shoreline and I got my leg over on the white cliffs of Dover. <laughs>